Hey, this is Yuda for BitLab Academy, another student question video. Uh, and this time we had a Max for Live lesson. And in one of the classes, we showed the cool um, uh, devices that allows you to draw visuals with sound. So let me uh, show you really quickly just to go over this technique again, because it was kind of quick at class. Um, so I'm going to open up a new MIDI track. Nice. I'm going to load a Max for Live device called Oscilloscope version 2, okay? And you can download it for free from maxforlive.com. I'm going to post a link on the video description. Nice. Now, once you load it, it's going to give you this uh, video screen. And this is a XY oscilloscope. It uh, comes to visualize different wave shapes uh, and the phase relation between the left and right. Uh, and it's very cool. So what we can do is load, for example, an operator. I'm going to turn down the output of operator because we don't really need to hear it loud. Nice. If I play a note, you can see this line here. Uh, if I want to change the panning, operator don't have a built-in panner, so I can put the utility. Here I can use this panning, and we can see uh, that the line is moving depends on where it is on the left, right. So if we want to start getting some interesting visuals, we can maybe take a simple delay start delaying the left and right slightly differently. So I'm going to take both of them out of synchronization, play around with it a tiny bit, put it 100% wet. Now let's hit a note. Nice, we get a circle. If I hit more than one note, we get all these interesting um, visuals and shapes. Of course, if I change the waveform, maybe like a square, get a square. Let's turn it down even more. Right, not some crazy visuals like the sine wave. And of course, it uh, can change if you have more effects in between the oscilloscope and your devices and instruments. You can change the shape. And you can use it in many creative ways, depends on what type of uh, effect you load. I'll let you experiment with that, but you can create some very interesting uh, visuals. Now, the same guy that developed the oscilloscope version 2 also developed a few devices, for example, the butterfly. Uh, they are just instruments. Let me play you how it sounds. Okay, kind of a drone-like sound, but we don't even have to listen to it. I can mute it just to look at the visuals. Here we have some really cool controls uh, for the visuals can do a bunch of stuff and you can even make it react to your music for example here I have uh, just a beat so play this nice maybe I want to make uh, that butterfly react to my drums so I can go to my drums here my, my kick and snare and I can go and load another max for live device called Envelope Follower. Let's drop it on the kick and bass. Nice. Now if I play the kick and bass, we're going to see the volume of them start to create an envelope here. Nice. I can take this envelope and affect my butterfly instrument. So I'm just going to go and click Map on the Envelope Follower while it's blinking going to go to the butterfly and click on one of the knobs here, one of the controls, let's say uh, flower. So now it's mapped to the envelope follower. And we also got to play a note for the butterfly instrument because it is an instrument after all. I'm just going to place one note, hit legato to stretch it all the way to the end. Let's check it now. Nice. Let's play a lower note. Excellent, you can continue and affect it in all sorts of ways using your audio. Here in the oscilloscope device itself, you can even have it uh, auto color change. And a bunch of other things, um, like an effect. Blur it. So a bunch of cool stuff you can do with the visuals and everything is being created um, using sounds can be great for uh, making visualizers for your music online. 
Um, so that's it. Hit me up if you have any questions. Catch you next time.